Tim, thank you. Progress keeps humming along on the GCS bond projects. The district says they want a, the work to reflect the community it serves. WFMY News 2's Tanya Rivera learned how GCS is improving diversity on its construction team. It takes a whole lot of money to build schools. In fact, $2 billion to be exact. You've seen the renderings, you've seen the timeline, but the question is just who is building the schools? We're talking about hundreds of different businesses. That means there are thousands of different people and Guilford County Schools is being very intentional about what those people look like. And if you look at the demographics of this particular school district, it's primarily minorities uh, within the community as a whole. It is kind of historic for us. If I'm not mistaken, I think this bond is maybe the third largest bond in the country uh, thus far. And so we're excited to be definitely a part of this and for our team to be 75% minority. It encourages people. They see people that look like them, the people that represent their community as a whole. And I think it just, for the most part, say, hey, there's hope. Creating a mirror image of what the classroom looks like and what the contractor field looks like is intentional, but it's not easy. In 2002, North Carolina lawmakers put in guidelines for state and public entities to have at least a 10% minority business participation goal. To meet that goal, there are state certified MWBEs. That stands for Minority Women Business Enterprise. This includes minority men, minority women, and Caucasian women. And there are state certified HUBs. That's historically underutilized businesses. We have to give the same kind of support that we gave to other small businesses. D.H. Griffin, Samick, how did they get their start? A lot of businesses got their start through the federal government. We had schools built right here in Guilford County um, in the city of Greensboro with New Deal money. So we gave businesses opportunities um, to learn, uh, to bid, to be awarded contracts. And so, um, so what, what's worked is what works. But getting minority businesses to even bid on a project like the Guilford County Schools bond just doesn't really happen very often. Why is that? Well, the short answer is it started a long time ago. Local historians say in 1912, a black contractor, L.B. Jeffries, won the bid to build a white school off of West Lee Street. The community wasn't having it, so the contract was canceled. For decades, um, <coughs> race ruled people in and race it ruled other people out. And so we've built an entire industry on access um, to opportunities to build schools, to build banks, to build universities. So when you know the civil rights legislation said you can't exclude people based on race, now it's going to be based on experience. By then, the minority businesses didn't have any experience bidding and building public projects. So they worked in the private sector, building homes, apartments, office buildings, which is why, as we circle back around, state lawmakers put that 10 percent minority guideline in place to make sure the goal is met and surpassed for this second round bond project of one point seven billion dollars. A partnership was formed. Meg, or the M. Edwards Group, a local minority-owned contractor, and CBRE, a global firm, partnered with two other minority-owned businesses, Brownstone and TRSNI. TRSNI's job is to find those qualified minority contractors, like those MWBEs and HUBs. This isn't TRSNI's first project with Guilford County Schools. Back in 2018, when the tornado came through, we were charged with uh, turning over within 24 hours of identifying minority contractors to do cleanup services. It was successful. We did it within the time frame and within budget. Um, for that 2018 tornado. So it's been done. We don't just give contracts to contractors of color. We, they, they're qualified, they have the credentials, they're gaining experience. But it's not just the contractors who get something out of it. The bigger the pool of contractors to choose from, the more bids, which means more competition and better price points for the school system. And there's a big community gain as well. Economic opportunities spill over into the community. They help support the schools, the churches, small businesses, um, home ownership and neighborhoods. And so it's just a huge benefit when we're able to um, be inclusive in the way that we do business. You'll find a deep dive into the projects on our website. We break down each phase of the construction projects, how long it takes and how the community can get involved.